I'd like to derive the threshold current in a semiconductor laser. It's the current required to initiate laser action, and it's determined by the energy-dependent gain coefficient, the light confinement factor, the width of the laser, and spontaneous emission and losses. It's probably easiest to understand by drawing the light versus current characteristics for a semiconductor laser. We see these two slopes, and if I extend the second slope back, this is the threshold current. So we can write down that the current into the laser is equal to W, the width of the laser, L, the length of the laser, and J, the current density. We can also assume that the gain is approximately equal to the confinement factor times the gain coefficient times n minus n naught. The gain coefficient a is equal to d g d n, so the derivative of the gain with respect to the number of carriers. n is the carrier density, and n naught is the carrier density it requires to get the gain medium to transparency. What this means is that if we don't input any carriers into a gain medium, all the light will be absorbed. If we input just enough so that light passes through without seeing gain or loss, that's transparency. And that's what n naught represents. So now let's continue our derivation of the threshold carrier density. So we know that at threshold, gain equals loss. And so we can just write down an expression. So we have gamma. A, N, threshold, because this is the carrier density at threshold, minus N naught, so that is my gain. This is equal to the losses, and the losses are alpha mirror plus alpha internal. We can write this a different way if we want. We can write that N threshold is equal to N naught plus alpha mirror plus alpha internal over A times gamma. If we go back and look at our Li characteristics, what we can see is that the light increases linearly with carrier injection until threshold. At threshold, and so this is really due to spontaneous emission, at threshold, stimulated emission takes over and laser action begins. So let's go ahead and write down an expression for the number of carriers as a function of time in, this in the semiconductor laser. dn dt equals j over q times d minus r total. And so j over qd, these are the number of carriers that are injected per second per volume. D is the height of the active region, and R total is the total recombination. If we want, we can split this out and write this slightly differently. So we can write that dn dt equals j over qd minus n over tau e, so this is the electron lifetime, minus R stimulated over times n times actually s. So this is essentially the stimulated emission rate and the number of photons. We know that R stim equals c over n and then g of n, so the gain coefficient as a function of carrier density. If I label my equations, so this is equation 1, and here, this is equation two, and I combine them, what I find is that J threshold equals Q D N threshold over tau E at N threshold. Okay, so what does this say? This essentially says that we're evaluating this equa these equations above in steady state, and we're also evaluating from for the place where Spontaneous emission equals zero, because right at threshold, that is a good assumption. We can also write down an expression for the carrier lifetime, 1 over tau e of n equals, and then here, this is A, this is the non-radiative recombination, plus B, this is the radiative recombination, times n, 
plus C times N squared, where C represents the Auger recombination. 